what is up guys before the video starts i would like to give a big shout out to buff for sponsoring the video buff is partnered with an unauthorized app of overwolf that you probably heard of and it basically lets you stack up points while you play your favorite games no matter if it's valorant league of legend dota 2 PUBG, and many other games all you have to do is let it run in the background while you play your favorite games they got some challenges so you can get even more coins and when you stack them all up which you don't have to pay for you go in the marketplace and you can buy yourself anything from a steam cd key bunch of skins in game merchandise and even gaming hardware where they even got more stuff like gift cards don't be afraid it does not affect anything game wise and hope you guys try it hope you guys like it all the links are going to be in the description below and hope you guys enjoy the video peace three quick tips to improve your aim consistency just like you've seen in the title this was a very asked request like across all my youtube videos and just everyone comes in my stream and kind of like always ask you how to be consistent how to do this how to do this so i'm gonna start doing a series where i explain to you guys a few things about a subject and then show some clips maybe i think there's a lot more that goes into it but i'll try to keep it simple and short for everyone i know you guys want the quick way so let's start it off pretty quick with the number one i'd say number one is do not change your settings okay i cannot stress this more do not change your settings and I'm, I'm not talking about only sensitivity i'm talking everything your resolution your video settings your monitor settings your your desktop height keyboard position mouse pad position your mouse don't change your mouse i'll give you guys a quick tip to find your settings when you want to find your sense there's a lot of things you can do to find your sense is you can record yourself let's say in the range and like flick bots just like randomly flick bots, non-stop, non-stop, like right flicks, left flicks, up and down. And if you see that when you re-watch the recordings and you see that you're over flicking, then maybe your sense is a little bit too high, so you want to go lower. If you see that you're not flicking hard enough, then you might have to turn up your sense. You can also shoot in the wall, random bullet or a bot, whatever, and try to keep your crosshair on it as you're moving left, as you're moving right. And again, if you're, if you're too much on the left, that means it's too fast. You're not like tracking the bullet right. And if you're too much on the right when you're moving right, then that means it's too slow when you find your sense do not touch it man like i cannot stress it more muscle memory comes with time and a lot of practice and when you change your settings like this it's not good for consistency and i know a lot of people watching this are probably going to be like yeah but tyson changes his sense all the time yeah but i've seen you change it on stream yeah but i've seen this pro do this but i've seen this pro do this i don't care how many pros i don't care how good the pro is it is not good to change your sense you can ask tyson or tens tomorrow if it's good to change your sense and he's going to be the first one to tell you it's not he's probably good with a lot of different sensitivity he's probably good with a high sense and a low sense because he plays this game so much that he's played a lot with a high sense and he's played a lot with a low sense so when it comes for him to switch he's used to both he's played with low sense and he's played with high sense 16 hours a day so it doesn't justify you changing it and a lot of pros sometimes they change just because they're bored maybe their game is getting too stale and they just kind of want a fresh start or whatever and they change their sense but not for a reason of like improving aim that will never improve your aim so yeah find the settings find video settings if you want to check out i have a video on all my settings in 2020 go by trial and error try different settings try different crosshairs try different sense and when you find your settings do not touch them do not touch them anymore that's it number two i'd say have a consistent warm-up routine and aim training routine every time you wake up before you hop in a game have a, like a 30 minutes consistent warm-up routine that you do every day and do not be lazy with it and it can be anything it doesn't have to be my warm-up routine it doesn't have to be this guy's warm-up routine it can be something you like doing so for example like you can go and before you hop in the range you can play a little bit of aim lab and then when you feel like kind of the blood's flowing through your arm you can hop in the range practice tapping do a little bit of this and when you feel like you're hitting your shot you, you can start doing sprays more like transfer bots once you transfer stuff like that and you can practice your tracking with p2k maybe try to keep your crosshair on people's head blah 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 just a warm-up routine for like 15 to 30 minutes every single day literally every single day an aim training routine while you're in queue or while you're waiting for something or while you're watching a podcast you can always go dm and you can always do this but find something you like doing and be consistent with it do it every single day for a long period of time and hard work will get you get you a good aim and a consistent one a lot of people they think they think pros are like just lazy when they say like just work hard for a good aim there's no secret to it it's just playing this game a lot when you see tyson have this aim or me have this aim it's because we play like 10 hours plus a day the third one i would say i know a lot of people ask me like oh should i dm to improve my aim or oh, should i do the range or oh, should i queue a pug i'll rank them from from work from best to worst the best thing you can possibly do to get better aim is play a real match a tournament because those you will learn the most of like crosshair placement it'll just improve your gameplay the most second would be scrims third would be probably pugs and i would put fourth fifth 
DMing, the range, aim lab, all the aim trainers, blah, blah, blah. Because in my opinion, I always think playing a real 5v5 game will improve your, your aim so much more than DMs, the range, and all that. Because the range is like, it's bots not moving, not shooting back at you, and you can be insane. You... You can be really insane in bots and it's not going to translate to your game sometime. I feel like this is a good tool to warm up, but it's not a it's not the most efficient one. If you could queue 15 pugs after your warm up, you should probably do that instead of doing 5 hours of DM and then 5 pugs. I'd say playing 15 pugs will get you better than playing 5 hours of DM 100% of the time. Obviously, if you can play matches, play matches. Obviously, if you can scrim with your team, do that. Obviously, if you want to do server time, do that as well. That's going to help you better. And the last one I'd say to improve your aim consistency is definitely going to be rely on crosshair placement more than flicking. And I know there's a lot that comes into crosshair placement. I know it sounds like so like vague a little bit. I will make a video on crosshair placement. There's, there's a lot of things that comes into crosshair placement. But for now, what I can tell you is like what i mean by rely more on crosshair placement than flicking is when you hold angles or when you peek an enemy try to have the more efficient crosshair placement so let's say this is the common angle when you peek this angle have it ready headshot level at the common angle that's when when you hold an angle try to visualize if the enemy is going to swing you wide or jiggle you what would you do if you were the enemy peeking that angle would you jiggle that angle or would you swing it wide you know what i mean and knowing what you would do in that situation while well, you can change your crosshair placement if you would jiggle that corner and you think it's more common to jiggle it and maybe hold it tighter so when he jiggles you can headshot him or peek into him and kill him if you think he's gonna swing wide then if you keep your crosshair closed and he swings wide you're gonna rely on a flick and I'm, i just said that's pretty bad so you want to put your crosshair wide enough so he swings into your crosshair and all you have to do is time and mouse one to headshot him there's a lot more that comes into crosshair placement i will make another video on tips but relying on your crosshair placements a higher win percentage than the flicking because your flicking can be off one day but your thinking and your visualization could be the same every single day that's pretty much that's th three good tips to practice your aim consistency tell me in the comment what else you guys would like tips on and little tricks i will make the video on my warm-up routine i know a lot of you guys have been asking for that i will make a video on crosshair placement a lot of you guys have been asking that phoenix guide is on the list too tips for entry fragging is on the list i see you guys in the comments so i have a i have a whole list i, I want to do and obviously if you enjoy it leave a like subscribe and enjoy the rest of this video peace 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 <laughs> I got this one. He's dead. One enemy remaining. Spike planted. Last player dead. One enemy remaining. Police speed, police speed. Bring you two. One health, one health. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Light like garage, light like garage. Off your feet! Oh my god. Oh my god. One enemy remaining. Oh my god. Yes, it's a tap. You're out. Tap back. Yeah, 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 Cover my buddy, cover my buddy. Come on, let's go. One enemy remaining. Yes. On the left. I'm only spamming. Careful now. Eight. Hey. Shadows traveling. One enemy remaining. Oh my god, hide uh, Oh my god. No, no, no. He's not that's cheating. Okay. Uh, scouts down. Let's go, Pete. baby. Tell you, tell you, yes. I should have had to be sure. One oh, enemy go. remaining. Nice. <laughs> Yes. Time to hunt. They're concussed. Hawk out. Reload. Catch. Hawk out. Fire. Oh, one what enemy remaining. Oh, I'm flat again. 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 I'm Right side, right side. Okay, good. Cover my buddy. 
One enemy remaining. Come, come. One enemy oh. remaining. Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh. 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 One more under, oh, one more under, one more under. Flip a bat, now I'm serving it, Tesla.